Good morning. Remember, you can go back and watch today's service on our Facebook and YouTube social media page at Gillfield MBC. Also, remember to like and subscribe to our pages. Please remember and pray for our sick and shut-in, Brother Thomas Ray Warner, Brother Felipe Kraft, Brother Albert Moore, Brother Randy Garner, Brother Elijah William, Brother Irvin Harvey Sr., Brother Maurice Carbon, Dr. David L. Smith, M.D., Brother Marquavius Deshaun Tatum, Sister Georgia Goodman, Sister Ann Brewer, Sister Betty Fields, Sister Eula Pugh, Sister Diane Macklin, Sister Sadie Brewer, Sister Sandy Garner, Sister Maddie McLean, Sister Dorothy Brown, Sister Harry Ricks, Sister Shirley Tuggle, Sister Mary Peden family, Sister Gwendolyn Hackett, Sister Rochelle Guffin, Sister Susan Smith. Please pray for our soldiers, school system, youth, students, teachers, our principals, doctors, nurses, hospital workers, essential workers, postal workers, and first responders everywhere. And now for our December birthday. Brother Alfonso Smith, December the 7th. Sister Patrice Walton, December the 9th. Brother Tyler Mosby, December the 11th. Brother Michael Penn, December the 11th. Brother Dexter Page, December the 12th. Sister Carolyn Levy, December the 13th. Brother Abbott Moore, December the 16th. Sister Miracle Goodman, December the 17th. Sister Patricia Brown, December the 20th. Brother Henry Mosby, December the 23rd. Sister Brittany Adams, December the 27th. Sister Mary Lacey, December the 28th. Sister Linda Gayton, December the 28th. Brother Eddie Brewer, December the 31st. Brother Raymond Brewer, December the 31st and Sister Patricia Brewer, December the 31st. Please join in with me in singing Happy Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. And now with the hands of Brother John. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Would you please stand and let's just begin to celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Just think about what he has done for you this week and in your own way just celebrating for just allowing us to assemble once again. We ought to tell him thank you. What a mighty God we serve from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made, that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Oh, this is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made, that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I will enter his gate with thank you be in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. 
I will say this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. Oh, he hath made me glad. He hath made me glad. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. He hath made me glad. He hath made me glad. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. Oh, he hath made me glad. He hath made me glad. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. He hath made me glad. He hath made me glad. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. Oh, he hath made me glad. He hath made me glad. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. He hath made me glad. He hath made me glad. I will rejoice for he hath made me glad. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth will joy him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels go before him. Heaven and earth will joy him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, Jesus is the light. Light of the world. Jesus is the light, light of the world. Jesus is the light, light of the world, ever shining in my soul. Oh, Jesus is the light, he is the light of, oh, Jesus, he is the light of, Jesus is, he is the light of, and he never, Oh, Jesus is the light, Jesus. He is the light. I'm so glad. He is the light of Jesus. He is. He's the light of the world. And he's ever. Oh, he has made me He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me Oh, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Come on and celebrate. Come on and celebrate him. Come on and celebrate the King of Kings. He deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. Just for waking you up this morning, you ought to tell him thank you. And I don't know about you, but he has made me glad. He made me glad. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. He made me glad. Thank you, Jesus. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. He's made me glad. He's made me glad. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. He's made me glad. He's made me glad. Think about your life. He allowed us to come over to the 12th month of the year. You ought to be glad. He deserves the glory. And he deserves the honor. And that name is Jesus.
Father God, we come this morning. We come giving thanks. Thank you for each and every one that's here this morning. Lord, thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for our health and strength. Thank you for closing. Waking us up in our right mind. Father God, we need you this morning. Trouble is surrounding and it's coming near. We need you. We need your angel to camp around us. Father God, we need you. I need you. Our family needs you. Father God, we're asking you to come in and bless us. Bless us in every way that you can. Because we need you and we need your protection. Because trouble is here. Our youngsters are getting killed. Cars are running down the street. And we need you. And Father, 
at times we don't know what to do. So all they know to do is bring in police and then they still can't stop it. Father, we need you. Yes. We need you bad. And we have nowhere else to go. Yes. And this country is falling apart. Yes. We need to bless the service. Yes. Bless the teachers. Yes. Bless the schools. Yes. Bless our community. Yes. Father God, we need you. Yes. We can't do without you. Yes. If you took your hand off us now, where would we go? Yes. Father God, we need our community. We need each other. We need to pull together. And oh Lord, help us. Help us where we can't see. You can see ahead of us. And Lord, we're waiting on a sign. Something to tell us that you are God and you're God all by yourself. Lord, help us. In the name of Jesus. Amen.
person and talk privately. We come to say thank you. Lord God, we had so much to be thankful for. Your grace, thou mercy. He's able to look through faults. Lord God, and you saw our need. You know that we need you. Lord God, you know that we can't make it without you. Lord God, we thank you for the tithes. Thank you for the offering. Thank you for the generous heart that was given. And bless those that had a mind to give. Financially wasn't able to give. But oh Lord God, thank you for the giving spirit. Our pastor and his family, the church family, we pray that you continue to protect and guide, continue to keep your loving arms of protection around each and every one of them. In your name, in your name we pray. Thank God. Amen. And we're going to sing Silent Night, Holy Night. Silent night, holy night. Silent, holy night. Holy. All is calm, all is bright. All is. All is bright. All is. Brown young virgin. Mother and child, mother and holy infant, so tender, holy and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep. Second verse, silent night, holy night. Silent. Holy night. Shepherds quake at the sight. Glory stream from heaven afar. Glory streams from heavenly hosts sing Alleluia. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Christ Third verse, silent night, holy night. Silent holy night. Son of God loves pure light. Loves pure light. Radiant beams from thy holy face. With 
the dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord, at that birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Silent night, holy night. Silent holy night. Wondrous star, lend thy light. Lend thy light. With the angels, let us sing. With the angels, let us sing. Alleluia to our King. Christ the Savior is born. 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 Thank you. Sitting down for we're not finished. Stand on your feet. We've been to give praises to God with joy to the world. How many of you had the words to joy to the world? Anybody need the words? Come on, y'all. We're gonna sing joy to the world as though our Christ and Savior is standing right here. If God was right here, sing joy to the world. Are we ready? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her peace. Let every heart repair him room. And heaven in nature sing. And heaven in nature sing. And heaven in heaven nature sing. Number two. Joy to the world, the Lord is your peace. Let me in their song and parts. What fields and floods, what fields and plains. Repeat the sound in joy, repeat the sound in joy. Repeat, repeat the sound in joy. Number four, he ruled the world with truth and grace and makes the nation prove the glory of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of his love. Amen. For our last song, let's just all go with uh, Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me.
was great, was great that brought me so thus far and great and great we are we are praise God 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 Truly, this is the season to praise God. Not just because it is December, but in the times in which we live, it is time for all of us to praise God, to give him the glory, to magnify his name, and to acknowledge that he is God. And besides him, there is no other. Praising God is always in order. To God be the glory for blessing us to be able to return to his house one more time. It is truly a blessing that we are now enjoying. We ought to be glad. We ought to be joyful in that. This is God's unmerited favor. I, I don't know your business, but I do know that none of us really deserves his goodness. For we all have come short of the glory of God but he has so fit to show us his amazing grace his divine favor on each of our lives watched over us from the earliest of our existence up until this present time and right early this moment he woke us up and we were held a brand new day, a day that we've never seen before, but a day that has been coming ever since the dawning of creation. And we ought to say, praise God, from whom all blessings flow, for it is in him that we live, move, and have our being, and without him we can do nothing. It's good to be here. It is just good to be here. It's good to be able to see you. And you see me. Amen. Thank God for these preachers and officers and members and visitors and choir members. And thank God for these little children. Amen. If there was a time when we need to bring our children to church, it is now. Amen. I'll put some of that in the message in a minute. Amen. I have that liberty, don't I? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Y'all give me a little liberty because I'm old. And God give me a little liberty because he has chosen me to do it. Amen. Amen.
thank God for this, another expression of his love. Uh, we want to talk from the book of Isaiah today, I mean. Isaiah 45. Verses 22 and 23. Isaiah, Isaiah 45, verses 22 and 23. Let us read these together. Since we singing together, we can read some scripture together too. It's just, just two verses. Isn't that right? For well, there's a blessing in reading the word of God. And there's a blessing in hearing the word of God. And there's a blessing in doing the word of God. Isn't that right? Let us begin reading at verse 22. It says, look unto me and be saved all the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is none else. I have sworn by myself. The word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Amen. You may be seated in your spare time this week. We encourage you to read the preceding verses as well as those that follow these two verses in order that you might get a, a clearer understanding of what is going on here. We're going to talk today about whosoever will let them come. Whosoever will let them come. We've been saying it all the time, let him come. We want to say them. Uh, plural, let them come. Thank you, Ursus. You may be seated. Whosoever. This is a universal invitation from God to all nations. The Hebrews, the Gentiles, the rich, the poor, the male, female, the young, and the old, come. This is an invitation. Yeah, this is a call from God for us, all of us, to turn to him and live. The wages of sin is yet death. But the gift of God is eternal life. The favor of God, the divine favor, the goodness of God, the grace of God is eternal life. For it is a gift from God, not that any of us earned it or deserved it, but it's a gift. And all we have to do is accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and receive that gift. Yeah. Uh, are you listening? Yeah. Submit ourselves unto him and to his authority and serve him, the true and the living God. This is what he's giving us another opportunity to do. And believe it or not, we are failing in many instances. We are allowing Satan to run rampant in our streets, in our communities, in our world that we live in. Satan's agenda has not changed from when he first began. And his agenda is to rob to steal, and to kill all of us. Satan is also no respecter of persons, but his desire is to destroy us. And he will use any means at his disposal to get his program over. He uses our children 
not just in Tennessee, not just in Memphis, not just in Arlington, but all over the world, you will notice that the same thing is going on. Yeah. He is using our young people yeah, to rob us, yeah, to steal from us, yeah. Yeah. and to kill without any real reason because we have not been taught the value of life. We are failing to teach our children who God is. And we are failing to teach them to reverence God, to respect God. The Bible said fear him, but it's talking about to reverence God, to acknowledge that he is God. And that we are his people. We are his chosen vessels. We were created in the likeness and the image of God. And we are to love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, body, and strength. And we are to love each other. Even as we love what ourselves. We are to teach our children to love God. The Bible says train up a child in the way that he or she should go and after many days they shall not depart even if they stray away when the knowledge of what they have been taught in their youth comes back to mind the bible lets us know that they will turn back to god to their original training now if you mothers and fathers fail to teach your children when they are young then what do they return to they have nothing to go on but what Satan has taught them in the streets. We are neglecting, not all of us, I know there are exceptions, there's some of us that are doing a magnificent job with our children. But uh, there are many of us that are neglecting to train and to teach our children in the way that they should go. We have chosen when it comes to the things of God to let them choose for themselves. But if you leave them to their own recognizance, they will choose the wrong way every time. Uh -huh. Even as we as parents will do, if you leave us alone yes, and let us make our own decisions all the time, we will come up in uh, on the wrong side of the track most of the time. Yes, Isn't that right? We don't want God to leave us to our own selves and let us make our own decisions decisions. We are to train our children in the way that they should go. We teach them everything. We, When they are small, you, most of us parents, not all of us will do that, but most of us will, will insist on our children going to school. Yeah, Is that right? Yeah. But we don't really insist on them coming to Sunday school. Uh -huh. Are you saying well, we insist on them going to school, but we don't insist on them coming to church. We, we allow them to choose. Do you want to go to church today? Yeah, Lord. Uh, and if they don't feel like it or don't want to go, then what? Well, they can stay at home. Yeah, Lord. Isn't that right? But they need to, as you would insist on them going to secular school, yes, you need to insist on them coming to Sunday school. Yeah. Isn't that right? Because the secular school will teach them how to make it in this world. But the school at church would teach them how to make it in the next world, yeah. in the world to come. Yeah. The secular school will teach, teach them how to survive in the physical realm. Uh -huh. But in the spiritual realm, which lasts throughout eternity, they have no knowledge. Yeah. And it's because we have failed to emphasize the need for a relationship with God. Yeah. We need to have a outstanding relationship with God. We need to know him and he need to know us. Uh, isn't that right? We, If they are going to school, if they play football, we insist on them going to practice. But how many insist on them coming to church? We insist on them going to practice uh, basketball. Isn't that a volleyball? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, we insist on them taking them music like doing band practice well, if they if they take in band. We insist on them doing those things, but when it comes to church, you allow them to make their own choices. Well, you are cheating them and you're cheating yourself because eventually they will turn on you uh -huh. and wonder why, Mama, why daddy you didn't tell me uh -huh. that Satan was out to destroy me. 
Why did you allow me to make all these wrong choices in life and make these wrong decisions while you was busy doing your own thing? Amen. When you should have been uh, as a, and should have been as inspiring to get me to go to church as you were in getting me to go to secular school so I, I can get a good education and get good grades so that I can get into a good college so that I can get a good job. But how many know that all of those things are temporary? It, it's good to have those things, but you, but 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 they are not lasting. But you need to spend more time on things that are lasting than on things that are temporal or temporary. Do you agree with me? Yeah, yeah. So then it's our responsibility as parents, you understand, to teach our young people. You understand the way of God to fear God, to love God, to reverence him and to give your life to him and accept him as your God and serve him with diligence. Serve him faithfully. Isn't that right? You shouldn't have to be made. Once you are trained in the right way, we shouldn't have to make or compel you because it should be within your spirit to want to do these things. Because whatever you do repetitively, it becomes a habit. Isn't that right? You can go to church long enough until it becomes a habit. Many of us older people are here today because it's a habit. Isn't that right? We weren't really inspired to come, but it's just what we've always done. I don't know nothing else to do on Sunday morning, but go to church. Isn't that right? Yeah, unless they run in the cell. Yeah, yeah. But but the Lord is good. He 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 he's allowing us to uh bring our children, to compel our children, to teach our children and bring them to God. To teach them that God is God. And besides him, there is none other. Satan gets into our children when they are left to their own resources. Yes, His spirit began to guide them. That's why they can kill. Uh -huh. That's why they can shoot. That's why they can take your car. That's why they can break into your house. They can break into these doors. Yeah, because the spirit of Satan is in them and is leading and guiding them to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah, so the only way to get rid of that problem is to bring them to God. The president cannot handle this. Did you what the president cannot handle this? The governor cannot handle this problem. Isn't that right? Yeah, your legislatures, they they, they cannot handle this, you understand, but God can. Yeah, they cannot handle their own problem. Yeah, yeah, in the Congress, in the House, they cannot handle their own problem. They, and they can't handle nothing else. See, and you, you, you can't handle the things that are going on. Anytime people would choose a president with all of these different charges against him and want him to be president again, you you go to the, the you go to the Congress and you get rid of a guy. Or doing some wrong, but if he hasn't done it, many of the wrong things is your ex-president has done. Yes, the one that they put out of, out of, out of office, what was his name? Daniel. Yeah, you know who he is. They put him out. He was guilty of a lot of things, but he's not as guilty of as many things as as the, as the, as the other boy. Yes, yeah, the many things that he's been charged with, but now the one that have done the most sin uh -huh. and have committed the most crime, you want him to be your president. Yeah. And you're, and you're trying to make light is because the other president is too old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, are, are you going to Well, he ain't what, about two or three years older than you? Yeah, old, old, old. If you put both of them side by side and that's a child, what do you see? They say two old men. Yeah. And, and, and that's what it is. But it ain't about the, the fact that uh, the one that's in there is too old. The fact is that the one that's vice president? Yeah. All right. Come on, uh, Is this color? Yeah. Well, almost this color. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? And if something happened to the standing president, then she'll become the first black woman to become president, and they would rather commit suicide than to let that happen. They, they'll put Donkey Kong in there for president before they allow that to happen. You have to realize what's going on. 
It ain't the idea that the man is so old. He just think he might die and the other woman, that woman might get to be president. And her life is really in danger if that should occur because there's some that's just not going to submit to that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, but all I'm trying to get you to see, you understand, you got you 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 got to you got to you know face facts, yeah. and and we're going to have to train up our young people. You understand how to act and how to conduct themselves, even yeah. how to respect authority. Yeah. yeah, to keep from getting killed. You know, there's yeah. always going to be some idiot out there that's doing wrong. Yeah, but but for the most part, we need to train them how to respect authority. They don't respect you as a parent, yeah. and they don't respect God. They don't respect the preacher. They don't respect the teacher. And they don't respect the police. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They are on a downward path to destruction. Because somebody is going to get upside that head. And you're down there crying and talking about how they mistreated your child. But you didn't train the child in the way that they should go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, didn't, you didn't teach them to say, yes, sir, officer. You understand? And when they said, halt, you stop. Yeah, and don't be hollering, what did I do and all that? Just stop. Are you saying what I'm saying? You know, when they say, let me see your ID for what? What did I do? No, you just let them see your ID. You can train them right and they will live. Well, you know, I've been here 80 years. Are you saying what I mean? I kind of know how to live. I didn't live this long just being stupid. Even though I look like this, you understand, I'm not as stupid as I look. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but God has given us another chance because all wisdom and knowledge come from God. Yeah, once you come to God, you understand, then this Holy Spirit will teach you and train you and give you wisdom and knowledge. He will lead you in the path of righteousness. Isn't that right? He will protect you and be a fence of protection around you if you humbly submit yourself unto him. That's the answer to your problem, you understand, but nobody wants to go in that direction. Nobody mentions God when we talk about what we're going to do about our community. Uh -huh. Are you listening? Yeah. They go down there and say they're going to pray, but the most thing they do is go down there and eat. Yeah. Now, are you hearing what I'm saying? Pray. Yeah, and, and you have to remind them that this is a prayer, prayer breakfast. Isn't uh -huh. that right? It's just a breakfast. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. But you need to teach your children. Yeah, yeah, but first of all, you need to know yourself. Yeah, you have to submit yourself to the authority instead of going home talking negative about your government and about your police and about your preachers and about everybody. You need to come up with something positive. You need to realize that none of us are perfect. Most of us on the job that we started, we started that job, you understand, for the first time. And it is a learning experience. And as God teach you and you learn, then you become a doer of what you have been taught. Isn't that right? And not be one that is gullible to everything that Satan introduces you to. Uh, are, are we on the same page? Okay. You want me to go to the message now, don't you? Isn't that right? Yeah, I turned it back on. It went off on its own. It didn't even want to do it right. Yeah. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Thought I wasn't gonna get it. I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. God, God is inviting us to come to Him and live. Yeah, the answer to the world's problem is found in God. Uh -huh. For in Him you will find wisdom and knowledge of how to live, how to care for yourself, how to care for your family, how to survive in this world that He created. There is nothing new going on now that has not been going on all the time. As I stated before, Satan does not have a new agenda, but he's doing the same thing now that he did back in the garden when he persuaded uh, Adam and Eve uh -huh. to go against uh, the orders of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He's yet trying to destroy us. He's yet trying to kill us. Uh -huh. He's trying to cheat us out of our what, inheritance. Yeah. And God is calling us back to himself to live. Yeah. It has never been God's desire that we should die, but that we should live uh -huh. and spend eternity with him. Well, are, you, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, he gets no pleasure out of seeing us suffer. No He's seeing, he gets no pleasure out of seeing us being killed before our time. Uh -huh. 
Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying? But God's desire for us is that we would live, prosper, and be in good health, even as our soul prosper. Yeah. Isn't that right? So he's calling us to come to him and live, to yeah. sit, submit ourselves to him and to his authority and serve him. We were created to serve God, not Satan. God is speaking through the prophet Isaiah. And Isaiah is speaking through me. And I am speaking to you to give you the knowledge that God is yet calling. He is yet drawing us unto himself. He's saying, leave your idols. Yeah, I, I know we are not following after Balaam and uh, uh, the other idol gods as they went after back in those days, but you're flooding after money. It has become your God. Your job has become your 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 spouse has become your God. Your children has maybe become your God. You you have made God out of your car. You made God out of your house. You made God out of everything, even out of your little education. You understand? You understand? You you think the last word, and God is letting you know that He is God alone. Anything that we have accomplished that is positive, God allowed us to do it. Amen. All wisdom and knowledge comes from God. Whatever it is that you are doing, uh -huh. God gave you the wisdom and the knowledge to do it. Yes, so then we need to give him the critic and serve him and be thankful to him for allowing us to be where we are. Yes. And that goes through what we are going through. Uh, yeah. Am I still? Uh, yeah, right, right. yeah. He, he invites us to come. He said, because I am the Lord your savior and your redeemer. And there is no other God but besides me. Well, he's our only savior and he's our only solution. Yeah. There is no other solution. The reason why they can't solve the problem is they won't go to the real solution. Yeah. If there is only one way to solve the problem, they don't need to go into another way. Yeah. And you're right, we all need to turn to God and allow his direction. Isn't that right? Allow him to instruct us in the way that we should go. Isn't that right? Look to God and be saved. Let every nation throughout the whole world. That's why I'm so happy when I come here. When I see Gilfield. Gilfield, you are, you are special. And you may not know why. We don't have people from all over the world. But we got people from all over the, this area. We got people here from Arlington. From... I thought you was going to help me name some. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Millington. You got some from Atoka. You got some from the, uh, oh, yeah. Oakland. You, you got some from Germantown. You got some from uh, Arkansas. You, you got yeah. people in here from everywhere. This is a sample of the assembly that God is calling together. Yeah. That we could come together and we can make it right or better in our own neighborhood. If everybody from each one of these neighborhoods did something to make it better where you live, then this would be a real utopia, a real good place to live. Uh, are you following me still? Yeah. So God is looking for us to assemble ourselves together. Yeah, and, and even the more so as we see the day of the Lord approaching. Fail not to assemble yourselves together and praise him and worship him and give him the glory and to teach others to fear God, to acknowledge that God is God and besides him there is no other. He says, I am the Father, I am the Son, and I am the Holy Spirit. We all are one. When you see one, you see the other. If you believe in one, you believe in all three. For we all three are one. I swear by myself. My word is truth, and what I speak is righteousness, Amen. and what I speak, there is strength in it. Yes. There is power in what I speak. Yes. To all that come to me in faith, I will be their God, yes. and they will what, be my people. My word shall not return to me void. Come on, yeah, but my word will accomplish what I sent it to do. Oh, yeah, and, and every knee will bow. Yeah, you may not bow now, but before the end of time, every knee is going to bow. Yeah, to me and to my word. For me and my word is the same. You're going to have to honor my word and what I say, and you're going to have to honor me and what I do. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah every tongue one day will confess that I am God. I am the creator and sustainer of this world. Yeah, yeah, I, I am God. You, you're going to have to come to that realization that is why. I know as bad as you want to be your own God. I, I know as bad as you want to rule and regulate your own life, I want you to know you're going to have to one day come under my subjection. Yeah. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 and I, the Lord, your God, yeah, shall, shall justify your sins. In other words, I will forgive your sin if you come to me in faith. If you come to me and believe on Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, yeah. then I will justify your sin. In other words, I will forgive your sin. You. I will bestow on you my unmerited favor. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I will give you divine favor. Yeah, that's going to cover every area of your life. Yeah. If you just submit yourself to me. Uh -huh. Are you listening? Yeah, the seed of Israel, yeah, and those of you that have been adopted shall be forgiven of all sins yeah. through the blood that Jesus shed out on Calvary. And all you got to do is turn from your wicked way. Turn back to me and confess that Jesus is Lord and live. For Jesus is life and he is the light of men. If you come to Jesus, you shall live well, and not die. Yeah. Jesus Christ is a living word of God. Uh -huh. And he is spiritual food for your soul. Yeah. He tells us to seek the Lord while he may be found. Uh -huh. Call on the Lord while he is near. Yeah. yeah, let the wicked forsake their ways and let the unrighteous forsake their thoughts yeah. and let us turn back to God with our whole heart. Wow. The Lord will have mercy on us Amen. and the Lord will forgive us. Amen. The reason I know that he will forgive you is because he has forgiven me. Amen. For we all have sinned yes. and we all have come short of the glory of God. But if you repent of your sin and turn back to God, he will forgive. Yes. Won't he do it? Yes, he, he will expunge your record. Yes. He will blot out all of your iniquities. Yes. Both past, present, and future. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't allow Satan to cause you to be cast into outer darkness. Uh -huh. Yeah, the spirit says come. Yes. The bride says come. And the Lord is telling us that have been saved to tell others to come. Yeah. All those that we meet along the road, uh -huh. along the highways and the byways, we are to compel them to come. Uh -huh. In other words, we are to insist on them turning their life around. Yeah. They may not want to hear what you have to say, but that's not the issue. The issue is that we should be obedient to the great head of the church. If he tells us to invite the laws to come to Christ, then that's what we ought to do. How long will you refuse this invitation? Behold, he has said before us life and death. But I am said I would that you would choose life so that you might live. Who will you serve today? Will you continue to serve Satan? Or will you serve the Lord? I heard one writer say, if the Lord be God, then you need to serve him. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I see one of the prophets uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see him standing before Ahab. And uh, I see Ahab accusing him of being a cause of the problems that they're having. Is that right? I, I, I see him telling Ahab, said, no, I'm not the cause of the problem that we are having. 
I'm not the reason why there is killing in the streets. I'm not the reason why there are stealing going on. I'm not the reason why there is a drought, a spiritual drought across the land. But, oh, King Ahab, I stop by to tell you that you and your family, you are the cause of the problem that we are having. Is that right? And you are the reason why we are having famines and floods and mudslides and earthquakes quakes and wars uh, and people have turned against their own people. Oh, oh king, I tell you what you do. You tell all of Israel to meet me on Mount Carmel. Really? Is that right? And uh, here I am all by myself. But uh, there are 450 prophets uh, yeah, of Baal. Yeah. And there are 400 prophets of the robe yeah. that eat at Jezebel's table. Yeah. I want you to tell them to meet me on Mount Carmel yeah. and bring all of Israel with them. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he do it? Yeah. yeah, what is his name, somebody? Yeah, what is the name of the prophet? Isaiah? Is it Isaiah? Yeah, Elijah. Don't send me down the wrong road. <laughs> what you say his name was? Elijah. Yeah. He said, <laughs> You done messed me up all the way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard him call the people in front and said, If the Lord be God, then you need to serve him. Is that right? Tell the prophets of Baal yeah. to go and get two bullocks. Yeah. In other words, two young bulls. Yeah. Take one for yourself oh. and give me the other one. Yeah. And I want you to dress the bull yeah. and lay him on the altar. Yeah. And I want you to call on your God. And I'll call on mine. Yeah. And the God that answers by fire, yeah. that is the God that we will serve. Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yeah. They call on Baal yeah. to morning until noon. <laughs> but Baal didn't answer yeah. because Baal had ears, yeah. but Baal couldn't hear. Yeah. Baal had a mouth, yeah. but Baal couldn't talk. Yeah. Baal had feet. Yeah. But Baal couldn't walk. Yeah. They call on Baal yeah. until late in the evening. Yeah. They jumped up on the altar, yeah. began to jump up and down. Ooh. They began to cut themselves with knives yeah. until the blood ran down. Yeah. But I heard him when he said, yeah, Why don't you call him a little bit louder? Yeah. Maybe your God oh. is hard of hearing. Yeah. Maybe he's on a trip. Yeah, and maybe he's asleep. But they call on him. But Baal didn't answer until the offering time. When I see him going and cutting up his offering, I believe he built the altar back because they had torn it down. He made it out of 12 stones that represented the 12 tribes of Israel. They told him to get four bags and fill it with water and pour the water over the altar. Told him to do it three times, which made 12 bags of water that soaked up the offering, soaked up the wood. Trench was built around the altar. Water filled the trench. And then I believe he called on his God. Didn't he do it? Father, I know you heard me in days that are past and gone. And I know you hear me now. Father, let it be known today that you are God in his world. Let it be known today that what I'm doing here today is because you told me to do it. Didn't he do it? And when he called on the Lord, the Bible said he sent down fire 
from on high. It burned up the wood. It burned up the wood. It burned up the stones. It left up the water. It burned up the dust. And I heard the people cry out, the Lord. The Lord, he is God. Is there anybody here today that know that God is our God? And besides him, there is none other. I don't see the fire, but I got a witness back there with Brother Penn. So the Lord is able to heal all men of sickness and diseases. Ain't God all right? I got another witness there. I'm able to change, he's able to cure cancer, mercy heals, and if the Lord is God, if he is a healer, you ought to serve him. I believe I can ask Brother Levi, he'll tell you that God is God, he's a healer, he's a deliverer, whatever you need today. You need to trust in God. If you turn from your weakened way, God will want to draw near to you. Yes, He will. Whatever you need today, the Lord will. If your child needs saving, you need to call on the Lord. If you need a healing, you need to call on the Lord. If you need financing, your earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, and everything therein belongs to the Lord. If you call on him, he will show up. I heard another problem that if the Lord needs somebody, here am I. Send me where he's in need of workers to He's in need of somebody to go and tell somebody that God is the water of them that seek him, that God is a savior for those that are lost, that God is a friend to the friendless, that God is a way out of no way, that God is a bread in the starting land, that God is water in dry places, God will hear and answer your prayer. Is there anybody here ever prayed at midnight? And God began to shake the place where you was at. Did we come in and warn you house of prayer? I'm a witness that God will hear and house of prayer. He'll save you. He save me. He's no respecter or person of me. If you need help, ask him. Don't be afraid to call him my name. Jesus, my God, I know your name. Your name is all my songs. Your name is all my joy. Your name is a cotton keeper. Your name is all I need. It'll open doors for me. In your name, do you know his name? You ought to tell somebody, I'm not ashamed to call on his name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in his name. There is power in the word of God. There is power in faith in God. You only come to the rescue. You want to tell somebody, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I'll tell it anywhere that he's my Lord. He's my Savior. He's my God. And he's good. You want to tell somebody, Jesus, I love you. Because you first love me. Jesus, I love you. Because you gave your life for me. Jesus, I love you. Because you shed your blood for me. Jesus, I love you. Because you went in the grave for me. 
And I heard him say, I am the door. I am the door into the sheepfold. If any man desires to come in, he must come in through by me. Will you come in today while the blood is running warm in your vein? While you are yet able to pick and choose your own friend ground. While you are yet able to pick the God you will serve. For there is only one, but there are many imitations. While you have been told and directed to the real, the true living God, will you come just now and give him your life? Tell him to use me, Lord, in your service. Wherever you want me to serve, I'm willing to serve. I don't have to have a title just anywhere in your kingdom will be all right with me. Not only is the door open, but the table is already spread. For you said, this is my body and this is my blood. Eat this and drink this in remembrance of me. Never forget what Jesus did for you. If he can do all of this for you, can you not give him your life of service? What is it, Lord, that you would have me to do? Oh, how I love. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, Jesus, because he prayed, there is a name, a name I love to hear, I love to hear, it sounds like music in my ear. Oh, how I love you. Oh, how I love you. Oh, the officers may come. the same night in which Jesus was betrayed he took bread and broke it blessed it and said this is my body which is broken for many as often as you eat it do so in remembrance of me and he took the cup and said this is my blood of the new testament which is shared for the remission of your sins as often as you drink this, do so in remembrance of me. And here we are in obedience to the head of the church. Asking you, God, to forgive us of all of our sins. Forgive us of our insubordination. Forgive us of our hard-headedness. Forgive us of our evil thoughts. 
forgive us for not submitting to you and to your authority. We turn from our wicked ways and we turn to you and we repent of our sins. We submit ourselves to your hands for you to use as you see fit. Bless us according to your loving kindness and your tender mercy. Bestow upon us that which you see us standing in the need of. For we know not what to ask for. But you being all-knowing, you know what we need better than we know how to ask. Father God, give us a better relationship with you. Fix our hearts so we can love like we should. Give us a mind to treat our neighbor right. Give us a mind to serve you in the spirit of holiness and truth. Give us a mind to be faithful to you even as you have been faithful to us. Hold us in the hollow of your hand. Continue to protect us from all hurt, harm, or danger. Help us to be what you intended for us to be when you created us. We'll ever give you the glory and we'll ever give you the praise. In that name that is above every name at which we all should bow and should confess that you are Lord. And that name is Jesus. In that name we pray and ask it all. Amen. Officers may serve. Elijah thought that he was all by himself. But he found out that there are many more that have not bowed down to idols. I'm a loving witness today as I look upon Gilfield that I'm not in this alone. But there are many here today that I know have not bowed down to idols. But your trust is in the living God. Your faith is in the blood that has washed your sins away. Your faith is in the body of Christ that gives life. There is healing in the blood of Jesus. There is deliverance in the blood of Jesus. When you feel like you are all alone, call on Jesus. And he'll show up for you just like he showed up for Elijah. And just like he has shown up for me, he'll show up for you. And Jesus said, this is my body, which is broken for many. As often as you eat it, do so in remembrance of me. Let us eat it together. And Jesus said, this is the cup of the New Testament. This is my blood that was shed for you for the remission of your sins. As often as you drink it, do so in remembrance of me. Let us drink it together. I know it was the blood. Mm -hmm. No, it was the blood. Whoa. 
one day when I was lost, he died upon the throne. I know it was a love for me. Oh yeah, no, oh, it was the blood. Oh yeah, no, oh, it was the blood. Oh yeah, no, oh, it was the blood for me. Oh, one day when I was gone, he died upon the cross. I know it was the blood. Oh, it was my Savior's blood. Was my Savior's blood, oh yeah, was my Savior's blood, was my Savior's blood on me. Oh, one day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. If you can, may we all stand for the benediction. In the name of Christ Jesus, Holy Father, we thank you for the power of your word that has gone forth. And Lord God, we thank you for another chance to recommit ourselves to you, to follow you, to follow your path of righteousness. And Lord, we thank you right now for your way is life. And in your way is light. And we thank you that you li we live, move, and have our being all in you. And we thank you, Lord. Bless every household gathered here today. Bless those who have gone through the, the difficulty of bereavement, Lord. Give them comfort, Lord. Bless those who are convalescing in hospitals, in rehab, Lord. Touch, heal, deliver all over the land. Peace be upon Israel, Lord. Oh, Lord God, we plead your blood across the land, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus. And, Lord, we thank you that you are our answer and you are our solution. And we believe and trust in you. And now may the grace and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with each and every one of us until we gather again. May we all say amen. 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 Jesus. Yeah.